Now, how do we measure volume? It turns out that we use a scale called decibels, which will be a little bit unusual at first. We have a graph here of how the intensity of sound changes with decibels. On the x-axis, it's fair enough, 5, 10, 15, 20, so on. But hang on, look at the y-axis. We're going to 10, to 100, to 1,000. We're not going up by a certain number each time, we're going up by a certain factor. Every time we go up a step on the y-axis, we increase by a factor of 10. So that means that this point over here is not actually zero on the y-axis. It's exactly one, because that will be one tenth of 10. The way that we uh, talk about this in physics or even in mathematics is we say that decibels are a logarithmic system of measurement. Logarithms pertain to the different uh, powers of numbers. So if we were to take the logarithm base 10 of the number 10, we'd get 1. If we were to take the logarithm base 10 of 100, we'd get 2. If we take the logarithm base 10 of 1000, we get 3, and so on. So if one sound is 10 times louder, then it's 10 decibels louder. That's the conversion factor that we use. So that means that if we have two sounds and one is 10 decibels, and one is 20 decibels, then the way that they will change in intensity is that the sound that has a loudness of 20 decibels will be exactly 10 times louder. So this is the, conver the conversion factor that we tend to use. This is in fact why we call the units decibels. Deci, at the start of the unit, comes from the old word for 10. Calculate the volume of a sound that is 10 times louder than a 24 decibel sound. Now can you remember how the decibels work? If we add 10 decibels, then we increase the intensity by a factor of 10. So if we want to be 10 times louder, that is 10 times more intense, then all we need to do is add 10 decibels. So a change in 10 decibels corresponds to something 10 times louder we end up with a sound that is 34 decibels. How about 10 times softer than a 9 decibel sound? Well, if we want to get 10 times softer, all we need to do is subtract 10 decibels, right? So 9 minus 10 is, oh dear, we've got a negative number. But remember, this is okay. Negative numbers are fine. Zero decibels is simply defined by the limit of human hearing. If something is less than zero decibels, then humans can't hear it but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. If, for example, we had more sensitive ears, or if we had, for example, a pet that could pick up on something of that volume, then they may be able to hear it. 